In central Kalimantan there is a special tradition that is carried out for the deceased. This Tawa ceremony is usually performed by the Dayak tribe for the delivery of dead bones to a house called Sandung. This ritual aimed at straightening the pilgrimage to Lawu Tor or heaven. Moreover, this unique ritual aims at unleashing bad luck on the abandoned family. These extreme traditions have been abandoned by the tribe of Dani. Cutting off a finger is a tradition of mourning the loss of a family member. For the Dani finger tribe to have a deeper meaning, it was represented as a form of harmony, unity, and strength in man or family. For a beautiful women's tribe must meet three criteria. First, his ears were long. Second, his body was adorned with breasts or tattoos. Third, sharp teeth. This twisting of teeth ought to add to a woman's beauty. This ritual, held once a year, is often held on the 10th of Siro or the 10th of Maharam in the village of Alaskabau, Banyu Fragrant. This ceremony required that some males dress up as buffalo and sacrifice themselves to plow the fields. After plowing the fields of Kibo the baldness is carried around the village with a carnival of folk art. The ritual of the Kibo the baldness is intended to call for rain in the dry season. In Indonesia, where much of its prosperity is that farmers have many traditions for celebrating the harvest. One is in the Perodo village, Sandaiko village, Berebo, Bone, South Sulawesi which is traditional shank. Isn't it unique? This tradition is based on Malenka's game. The point is that young men need to draw their strength in order to follow the traditions of these contests. The Minahasa people have rituals unique and different from other traditions. The Minahasa clan put the corpse sitting on its feet instead of in a sleeping position. The tradition of a funeral like this according to belief represents a state of sanctity and brings good. Other than in a sitting position, the direction of the corpse should be facing north. This is because of the hereditary history of the Minahasa people. Tabuik is Arabic for meaning of the word ark or parading. This tradition is conducted by people on the west coast, West Sumatra, which is held in its downward spiral. The Tabuik ceremony was held every day of Ashura on Maharam's tent. This ritual became a symbol of and a form of expression of deep sorrow and respect for Muslims in the parliament of the grandson of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. During the fast month of Semarang town, dugongs would rage. This age-old tradition is a sign that the fast month has come. One feature of the program is the Warak the Warak Bun. The ancient goat, dragon, headed, and golden skin, is found in the ancient jar. 